Rex, and I just got done teaching my Introduction to Contact Boy class here at uh, Fall Wildfire 2011. Uh, here's what we went over in class. We started off with different balance points for poi. Uh, the first one we played around with was just having the poi kind of in the palm of your hand, being able to keep it smooth and steady, walking around without having to hold on to it. The next balance point we played around with was in the pit of the elbow, like this, which, once again, you walk around with it, get it so it feels pretty stable, and uh, you can move around without, uh, without kind of losing it. There's the outside of the elbow, right here, once again. You walk around, you try and keep it stable so that uh, no matter what you're doing, you can, uh, you can hold the boy comfortably like this. And finally, we played around with keeping the boy in the cradle, which happens when you keep your forearm basically essentially straight and uh, you put the poi tether between your first and middle fingers, like so. Once again, you go for a little bit of a walk with it, learn how to keep it steady and stable, right? We then played around with our first contact roll, which was from uh, holding the contact poi, we would roll it back along the forearm and catch the tether as it came up and around to meet our hand. To do this, we rolled it towards the outside of our forearm. And when the tether came through, we turned our hand slightly to, uh, to grab it, pull the boy in and out, right? Our next uh, contact roll was to put the boy in cradle, like this, and swing the tether back and forth. When the tether hits your elbow, it has enough momentum to do contact roll. So you give it a slight flick, oops, and over around it should go. We talked about how to get the poi into the cradle, which the uh, method I'm most uh, fond of is doing a little bit of a throw, almost like you're doing like a stall straight up, and sliding your hand in under it to catch it straight up, and then rolling it across like so. We also played around with uh, taking the poi and catching it on your shoulder like this, so it's just barely hanging over your back, and then giving the tether a good swing out and around and catching the poi tether in the small of your back, like so. Awesome. Um, we also talked about what happens if you want to do throws that end in contact rolls, wherein you essentially start with an isolated throw, that is a throw where uh, you kind of let the poi stop in midair for a second at the end of a pendulum and flick the handle back and around to isolate it around the head. To turn this into a contact roll, what we do is when the poi handle is pointed straight up, we stick our hand directly under it and we let it roll off the hand. Like so. Cool. Um, we then started playing around with doing uh, kind of uh, compound rolls, that is, uh, rolls where you do more than one roll at a given time. The first one we played with was uh, from the same position, we would roll the poi up into our elbow and catch the tether as it came up. Then we would push the tether back out and catch the poi head as it dropped back into our palm, like so. Cool. Uh, we then toyed with the idea of uh, rolling it across both of our forearms. Uh, sorry, one thing I missed from earlier was we also did a catch in our, uh, our elbow pit like this and rolled it across the hand that had just deposited the poi there. We did a, a slight variant on this wherein we caught the poi on that elbow and we then proceeded to roll it across both forearms. Uh, finally, we did what I called the Jedi Maneuver, which um, is having the poi in the palm of your hand and transferring it from an inner roll to an outer forearm roll by changing the orientation of your elbow as it rolls. And really what this is, is it's a transfer from this balance point right here to this balance point right here. And if you're able to do it with enough momentum, you can pop the poi head right back out and contact roll it just like you would from the cradle back to getting the tether into your hand. So, yeah, that's, uh, that was class. Thanks for watching.